Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, so for today's video, you guys, I am going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing and trying on all the products that I received with you guys. But before I get started, just do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so this month's um, theme for BoxyCharm is Harvest. You know, very fall vibes. We're in fall. The first product, um, it's this Dr. Brandon's Antioxidant Spray Toner. This toner retails for $40. So I do have other Dr. Brandon products that I use um, for skincare and I actually really do like them. So I was so excited when I I saw the brand of this toner and I started using it right away guys as soon as I got my box I have been using this toner for three days now I've been using it twice a day in the morning and at night and honestly I actually do see a difference already I don't know if I'm just tripping but I honestly feel like my pores around here and my nose they look kind of smaller so I'm really going to keep trying this and try to see how my skin looks with time using this um, but yeah so far I can tell you guys that I have really been liking this um, so this one you're just it says you're just supposed to like spray it on your face it is a spray so it just says to hold it out and spray it um, but what I've been doing is I've been getting a cotton round and I just spray it on there and I just put it directly on my skin I don't know I just feel like I don't know <laughs> a little ASMR moment Yeah, so so far this product alone, I have been loving it. Okay guys, so the next product we have, it's the LMR Cosmetics Pero Primero Primer. It's a long wear sticky pigment base. Um, this one retails for $15 and it says it's a water-based primer designed to glue eyeshadow in place and to maximize color and pearl dimension. It also works as a glitter glue, so it mixed with your favorite concealer to customize the primer's shade. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. So I guess this can be a glitter glue as well for glitter eyeshadow. Um, you can wear it as just a primer. And you can also mix it with your favorite concealer to customize the primer's shade. Let's see what color it is. Okay, so it's like a brown. I'm guessing it says you can mix this with concealer just in case you like to lay down like a lighter shade for your base for your eyeshadow like i do i set down a concealer that's almost white just so my eyeshadow colors really pop um but i don't want to mix this with concealer for the first time trying it so i'm just gonna go like ahead and just apply it all over the lid by itself and we're gonna see how this helps the eyeshadow Um, so it does feel pretty tacky. Um, it's not too sticky, but yeah, the more I move it, the tackier it feels. I don't think I like it. Ah, abort, abort, abort mission. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have ever used eyelash glue to glue your glitter eyeshadow, um, but when I use like my eyelash glue, I usually spread it around with um, a brush like this, and it feels exactly the same. This feels like I'm spreading around eyelash glue. It's getting really sticky as it's drying down, um, and it's kind of hard. Like it already indented right here in my crease, and there's like little spots. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, it's really hard to like try to like even it out and get rid of that crease so i don't know if i'm gonna like this with the eyeshadow but i'm giving it the benefit of the doubt and i'm gonna go ahead and give it a chance okay guys so the next product um i actually got the natasha denona peak eyeshadow palette this is the natasha denona um peak palette um this one retails for 48 dollars so i have seen other natasha denona's palettes and they are on the pricier side they're usually about 130 120 dollars so at first i was like wow 50 dollars almost for five shades but then i remembered her other palettes are like 130 dollars so i was like makes sense <laughs> still a lot more than i would probably pay for a five pan eyeshadow palette i've never tried a natasha denona palette so i don't know how the formula is i don't know if it's worth the 48 dollars i mean it's only five shades that I already have so probably not um, but let's go ahead and try this palette out okay so to start off I'm gonna go in with this shade right here does it have shade names oh yeah it does in the back it has the shade names here in the back 
So I'm gonna go in with this shade. It's called Thorn. Not a lot of fallout. Um, it's actually pretty good. Also, that base, um, it doesn't feel as sticky with my finger, but with the brush, it felt super sticky. Like it was sticking onto the brush. Um, so let's go ahead and apply this color. Yeah, so with my brush, I can feel it getting stuck with the base. I don't like how the base feels at all. Um, it's really sticky. Like, it's making my brush really sticky, and uh, I don't know if I like it, but... Um, I'm not gonna take the brown all the way over here. I'm gonna leave it right here, just because... I want to try a new look that I've been seeing around. So you just take it up to there. Then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Jasper. I'm just going to place this shade on top of the brown and just blend the two together. Okay, and then once you have it how you kind of want it, we're going to go ahead and cut the crease, ending it going up here. Okay, so this is pretty much the shape that we want. Okay, and then we're going to go in with the shade Shine. And we are going to start placing that on the lid following the shape that we cut. Keeping it more on the higher part and trying to avoid down here because we're going to create a liner with the shadows. So this is actually a really pretty shade. It's like a champagne gold shade. Okay, so next we're going to go with that dark brown shade and we're going to start applying it on the lash line. And we're just going to be blending this out to become our eyeliner. We're gonna go in with the shade Jasper again. And we're just going to start smoking this shade on top of the brown, just like we did on top. Gonna blend it out as much as we can, so it's kind of like a smoky liner. Then for the bottom lash line, we're going in the same order we did on top. So brown closest to the lash line, and then we're putting that Jasper shade right under it as well. Okay guys, so I finished the other eye. Um, my final thoughts on this palette, um, the colors are really pretty. It's a, it's a good palette. They blend out really nicely and easily. And yeah, overall I think it's a really good palette. I just don't know, like five shades for $50, almost $50, 48 bucks. I mean, that's literally you're paying like $10 a shade. So that's just kind of crazy to think about. Also guys, I did go ahead and just use my regular concealer on this eye and the LMR um, eyeshadow base on this eye. So I honestly don't even see a difference. Um, it didn't make the colors any brighter on this side. It didn't really do anything other than just make my eyelid really tacky. It was kind of harder to blend out the shades on this side. So I don't think I'll be using that as a base. Um, I think maybe it'd be better for the glitter eyeshadows. Maybe I can try it with that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the final two products. Okay, so the next product I received, it's the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. Um, I do believe I picked this one. It was one of the choices I was able to choose from. Um, and this one retails for $24 and it says it's a waterproof intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp derived cannabis seed oil. So Milk is another brand that I really love. Their primer is my favorite primer of all time and I have a night serum from Milk as well that I really like. So um, I chose this one just for the brand. Um, I'm really excited to see how their mascara is. Okay guys, so this is the mascara. Um, it's pretty big. Um, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be and it's like a metallic blue. So this is what the spoolie looks like. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So here is my lashes with and without mascara. Um, it made my lashes look really good and you can totally see the difference So I am excited about this product as well. I think I'm really going to enjoy this one Also guys, I forgot to mention there was a coupon in the box So we do have a Natasha Denona 25% off site-wide coupon um, That they threw in there. So this is pretty cool as well. Okay guys and the last product I received um, It's this half K the game changer lip fondant trio um, this one retails for $32. So let's just take a second to talk about this packaging because look how cute this is. So there is three lipsticks in here and when I first saw the packaging, I was like, what is this? Like, I didn't know what it was. Um, it's like a little like card pack and it's so cute. I've never seen this before like for makeup packaging. And in the back it says babe tested and it is vegan approved and it's like a little 
half bitten donut and then you have the lipsticks on the side with the donuts as well and i just think this is so cute like overall the packaging i love it so then you open it up and the lipsticks are like that and we pull them out and these are the shades you guys these are so cute these are totally colors that i love wearing and also look at the packaging on the lipsticks themselves so it says half caked and then it is like dripping icing and it has sprinkles all around them. They're all the same. Super cute. I love, love, love this packaging. So the red shade we have here, this is the shade Bordox. And then we have the shade um, Low Key. This is super cute. And the final one, we have um, a theme song. I like this one as well. I think I'm going to use this one today. Um, I can go ahead and swatch all of these so you can see the shades. So first with the red one, this is a Bordox. Let me go ahead. Ooh, super pretty. Um, I've never used this brand before either. Oh my god, yes. They smell so good, you guys. Mm, they smell really sweet. They smell like a cake batter. That's what they smell like. Let's swatch um, a low key for you guys. So this is really cute too. This is like a pink mauve color. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Shade we have um, a theme song. It's more like a nude pink shade. Oh my god, yes, that's so pretty. I love these shades. So I was thinking of going in with a theme song, um, but looking at it now, I think the red might look pretty good with this look too. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try the red on. So first I'm going to go in with the Bodyography's Lip Pencil in the shade Rosewood. Oh my goodness. I really like the applicator as well. Um, it's really pointy at the top, but it's really flat. And it's just letting me apply it so easily, like wherever. And, and especially at the edges, the tip is just so easy to use. Hey guys, I am done with the look. What do you guys think? Oh my god, you guys, I fell in love with this lipstick. The color, oh my god, it's so beautiful. And it dried down super fast, and it feels so good, you guys. Like. Like, it feels like I literally have nothing on my lips. It's not soup. It's not drying or anything. Oh my god, I love this formula. I definitely, definitely love these lipsticks. So what did you guys think about my box? Honestly, I really, really loved this month's box. I absolutely love these lipsticks. These are probably my favorite. Well, I still need to try the other shades, but this one, like, if they're like this one, I definitely think these are my favorite product. And for three days, I feel like this toner has really been making a difference. I really like this as well, and I'm going to continue using it. Um, the Natasha Denona palette is really pretty. Um, it is, I love the colors. They blend it super easily, and it's just... Yeah, I like that as well. Um, the Milk Mascara. Oh my god, guys. Like, I love the Milk Mascara. Like, it worked so good. My lashes looked really good after. I pretty much love every product. Um, I didn't really like this for an eyeshadow primer. Um, I was way too tacky, way too sticky for a primer. It just made it hard to blend the eyeshadow. And also, my brush just kept getting stuck to it. But I am going to use this for glitters and see how that works. Um, but other than that, I loved everything else, you guys. It's been a while that I have loved a box so much. I think of my box and what you guys got in your box if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm. I always like seeing what different kinds of boxes people get and what products they like and they don't like. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.